Yeah, I don't believe it. No, no, I don't believe it. You are not going to want to turn this video off. First, you're going to want to smash the thumbs up, ring the notification bell. But more importantly, we're going to do two things in this video, folks. We're going to show you proof that cloud seeding was probably what happened with the flooding in Dubai. Secondly, we're going to show you how to take authority over the weather. If you knew that the probability of us winning or turning it around was almost zero, would you stop fighting? Would you stop fighting? That's what they need to know. They need to know that no matter what they do, no matter how much pressure, no matter how much comfort they try to take away, no matter if they try to deplatform you, if they take your job, if they put you in jail, no matter what they do, you're not stopping. Most of you already know we were demonetized for speaking truth. Guys, anything at all would help us be able to continue doing what we're doing here at Starkey Forum said, which is spreading truth. Even a dollar helps us continue to be able to make videos. And we thank all of you who are rowing in our boats and who have already done so. God bless you. Let me get this straight. You seeded clouds starting in September of 2023 with four brand new techniques that you'd never tried before and had no idea what the consequences would be. And you did that literally up to a week before the storm. But you can say definitively that you, the cloud seeder, did not cause 10 inches of rain two years worth to fall in seven hours. Anybody else smell that? Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Starkey Born Says. So my name is Samantha. And I am the operator of a two acre farmstead located in Southeast Louisiana. It's obviously we have a storm brewing, guys, right? So regardless of what the weather looks like, folks, when you own animals, livestock, you are responsible. But I want you to look at this cloud behind my head. Y'all see what I'm seeing? All right, so let's take over, let's take authority over the weather, because God said we could, right? Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I take authority over this cloud and the storm coming towards me, Father. I command that this weather move past me, that the worst of it not hit my property. Lord Jesus, you gave me the authority when you hung your only son on that cross. And when I accepted him, I received the power that the Holy Spirit had to give to me. Your word says that you will bring rain unto my property in its time. And Lord, though I thank you for the rain, I command your angels to move this storm in any damaging winds, hail, or tornadoes away from me and all of the animals that you put into my care to raise and to husband. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen up, family. You are never helpless. You are never alone. And though we live in a world that feels like somehow it went off kilter. It still belongs to God. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about climate change. Folks, it's real. It's real. It's 100% real. And being caused by scientists. Causes, experts pointed to climate change as a significant factor behind the extreme weather. There, you heard it. You heard it for yourself. They are basically, when I say they, I'm talking about Dubois and, and all these other scientists are saying that this is climate change. I mean, two years of rain in seven hours, folks, 
it's got to be climate change. It, you know, it has nothing to do with the fact that even though these scientists claim that they don't fly into storms, well, the truth is they most certainly do fly into storms. And what they're doing is they fly about 6,000 feet up in the air, elevation wise, and they begin to seed into these clouds. Now, the question I have is, where are you getting your information that this A works and B that you can control it? Because see, once you release these chemicals into the clouds, well, then you have jacked with mother nature. I mean, come on folks. They're building a city in the middle of the desert. It's been a desert for thousands of years. I mean, why would you think that you could play God and change that environment without affecting not only the regional area that you have now flooded, but the entire world? Like it's going to have effects here in America and in Canada and in Europe. It's going to affect the entire world. And, and that's what they're not talking about. So they, they basically say, look, we're going to try something new. All right. They started this in September 2023. They claim, the scientists, that they want to try something new, that they need to help. They need to help increase rainfall. So they're going to try multiple types at one time. <laughs> look, folks, I mean, I went to college for a long time. I took a lot of science classes. And one of the things that I learned was that you can't use multiple factors in the same test because then you can't really measure what factor did what. That's all I'm saying. But these brilliant scientists decide that we're gonna drop four, not one, not two, not three, but four different types of cloud seeding technology at one time. At one time, this is a good idea. Like, like we're, we're going to help the environment. We're just going to pump all this junk into the air. And, and it's going to be positive. It, that's the only thing it can be. It can only be positive. And if something goes bad, well, we have a fallback plan. And that's blaming climate change and fossil fuels. Because all these youth, all these millennials, all these liberals will believe it. They'll blame the redneck driving the four wheel drive before they consider blaming the government. Now, that leads up to the next question, who and what is actually causing climate change? I'd like to know what you think about that. I'd like to know what you think, whether you have an opposing opinion or not, I truly would like to know what you think. Please drop that in comments. Make sure you hit the thumbs up so this video gets out to more people. We need to educate people on what's going on. Because when you fact check this, immediately they started putting out disclaimers. Cloud, we did not cloud seed prior to this storm. We, we did not. No, we didn't. Mm -mm. September 2023. And the, and the several months past September 2023, leading up to April of 2024, is prior to this storm. Yippee, you didn't do it the day of the storm, but did you do it a couple of days before the storm, maybe? Because I know you did a couple of months. And since you can't really gauge how you're changing the weather until it happens, I'm going to say... Now, you guys did this. You did this. And you should be sued. <laughs> you most definitely should. Their wording. Their wording. Look at this. We're going to push the boundaries. Like you're pushing the boundaries with uh, CRISPR and transhumanism. Like those boundaries. Because when you're jacking with weather, I mean, basically that is what you're doing. Now, moving on. Um, they basically said in September 2023, look right here, when they did some cloud seeding, there was immediate storms in surrounding regions to where they were cloud seeding. And their response was, 
we're not sure this is connected. Like, we, we don't know. We don't know. Because we don't know what we're doing. We're, we're just dropping things in the clouds. Because we think, we have a theory. And supposedly, there's documentation to prove cloud seeding works. So where exactly did you get that documentation from? And who were your guinea pigs? I mean, I'm just saying, could it possibly have been us down here in Louisiana in the 2016 Great Flood? Maybe. Was it us? Were, were we the ones? <laughs> that you got your proof that this works? Yeah. Maybe. That was us. Hey, Dubois. I'm from Louisiana. And I understand how you feel, folks. Because I, too, floated in a boat looking at the roofs of houses that were underwater that should not have been underwater. Yep, I lived through that too. Know exactly what you're going through and you'll be in our prayers. If you guys like to support more videos like this and what we do here at Starkey Forum said, which is bringing truth, we would appreciate that. May 1st, which is two days from now, our bi-monthly newsletter will begin again. So if you would like to be part of that, it's $30 every six months. You can send it in links. You'll see it pinned at comments right here. Guys, we really depend on your support. We were demonetized for speaking truth because, well, they don't like people like me on YouTube. You know, free thinkers and critical thinkers and educated people who are looking at the scientists dumping multiple chemicals at one time. And I'm questioning why they would do that and how that would actually be... Uh, you know, a scientific study that you could pull any usable knowledge from. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, don't. I'm just a taxpayer. <laughs> you know, just a concerned citizen. Just a, a, you know, slave worker over here. Making all these elites and scientists rich with my tax dollars. So, you know, don't pay any attention to me. <laughs> You guys know how that is. So like, comment, spread this video. Let's get this out into the world, folks. Because I think the fact checkers need to be fact checked. That's all I got this morning. It's raining. I got things I need to do. Our daughter is in an airplane right now heading back from New Zealand. And this mom... It was like Christmas for me last night, guys. I could not sleep. I'd go to bed, wake up, go to bed, wake up. A pounding headache. The type you get when you didn't get enough sleep, solid sleep. So I'm gonna get inside, finish a few things before I head to the New Orleans airport to get my baby daughter. Thank you, Jesus, for bringing her home. You guys have a blessed day. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to support what we do here at Storky Farmstead, I'll drop it in comments. I've seen it, uh, I've read some of it, and it's fine. Did they say economic impact is devastating? Yeah, I don't believe it. You don't believe it? No, no, I don't believe it. Uh, and, and here's the other thing. You're going to have to have China and Japan and all of Asia and all of these other countries, you know, addre addresses our country. Right now, we're at the cleanest we've ever been, and that's very important to me. But if we're clean, but every other place on earth is dirty, that's not so good. So I want clean air, I want clean water, very important.